Today we're going to be looking at the Weather Force 360. It's an as seen on TV product from Bell and & Howell. And actually when I saw this in the store, it reminded me of a friend of mine I used to work with a long time ago. He, we worked third shift together and right before our shift started, he would pull in and he would cover his windshield with a towel. Now this was before it was going to snow or ice, not just every day. And I always thought, man, that is weird. But the next morning, when the rest of us are all shoveling off our car, he just peeled off the towel and said, see you later, everyone. So I thought, what a brilliant idea. And that's what this is. It's, an, it's a windshield cover that you could use for snow and sleet and ice, or even in the summer to keep the inside of your car cool. This is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You. My channel is dedicated to reviewing mostly as seen on TV items. I look at some consumer gadgets, other household items, once in a while, I do a little bit of a DIY just because I like to. If that interests you, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and click the bell below. That way you're notified every time I release a video just like this one. Oh yeah, one more thing. Don't forget to check down the description for my social media, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. I would love it if you would follow me there too. Now, let's take a closer look at the Weather Force 360. Let's unbox our Weather Force 360 from Bell & Howell. And yes, this is an ad seen on TV product. First things first, I wanna show you this because I know I'm not gonna be able to show you it on camera because it's gonna to be too large. But it does have a shape of a windshield, so it tapers out here on both ends. This piece right here um, on either side is what you hold. It actually goes on the inside of your car and it holds it in place. This is gonna be like a little bag that you can put everything in at the end. There are five magnets around one in each corner, and then one here, one in the middle, and one on the end um, to help secure it to your vehicle. All right, so now let's unbox this thing. Little pull tab. It's stubborn, there we go. All right, so it's nicely rolled up. All right, so I definitely see, well, this, oh, okay, that's the bag. So I definitely see this black material, almost like a canvas vinyl type thing. And then this must be the inside. There is an inside and an outside. Um, and that's how it holds to your window, either in the summer or in the winter. Not holds to the window, but that's how you put it on your window. All right, so the black part is supposed to be out in the winter. The gray part is gonna be out in the summer. The gray part is supposed to resist the heat. The black part is supposed to keep it protected so you can peel it right off in the event of a snowstorm or in, I guess, an ice storm. Here are the little pouches where the magnets are, and you can probably see that little tiny magnet that's right in there. Um, it is sewn in on both sides. This is the part that actually worries me a little because even though it's sewn in, will this scratch my car? Uh, I just wanted to show you that. Ooh, I attached to another magnet. That's funny. Where is that one? It's on that side. Anyway, I just wanted to give you an up-close view of what the little pouches were like that held the magnets. I'm not sure how practical it is to actually store it in the bag. I folded this up pretty tight, and as I'm wheel or rolling it up here, I get to the other end where the bag is, and it's just, I don't know. I don't think it's actually a thing. I'm probably going to just put a strap around this and leave it like this once it dries. I like the idea of the bag. I just don't think there's any way I'm gonna get this small enough to put it back in there. Let's install the weather force. I had to make sure it was unlocked first. And there you have it, completely covered and ready for tonight's winter storm. So this is what this side looks like. You just keep this in here. It doesn't have any kind of magnet or way to hold it in there, so I just close the door pretty slowly. It stays tight right there, keeping a nice seal, therefore to keep the elements off your windshield. It looks like last night was a good night to try out the Weather Force 360. This car has a little bit of snow on it. Where this one over here, the window is completely covered. Although, I will say it's not a lot of snow. At least I don't have to come out here and scrape it off. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna open up the doors 
shake off the Weather Force 360, and head on my day. All right, so what I've done is I've actually opened both doors. I've taken the door piece out on both sides. So now I can just take off my Weather Force 360, and voila, a perfectly cleaned car. All right, so now that my car is cleaned off, I've shaken off the Weather Force 360, but there still seems to be a good amount of snow still on it. So the part that I'm really wondering now is where am I supposed to store this? See, I'm at my house now, so I can store this in my garage, and that's fine, but if I'm not at my house, or maybe it's gonna snow today and I have to go to work, and I wanna take this with me, this is gonna make a hot mess inside my car. So, tell me, what are your thoughts of the Weather Force 360? Is this something that you would use? Let me know down in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you. Now for the moment of truth, we've got some serious ice. Weather Force 360 on here. I mean, this has got some good ice on there. I'd be spending 10, 15 minutes scraping. Look, I even got a, a big chunk of ice there. All right, so let's open up this door. Oh, you hear that? All right. It looks like it's frozen to the car. But the windshield looks good. I'll, I will be honest. It's hard to get this thing off. But you know what? The windshield is clean. A little ice, but not so bad. All right, so it worked. I had this on the car yesterday, and it was freezing rain. So you know what? I just left it on there all day because I knew it was going to stay cold all night. But maybe some of that freezing rain yesterday melted and then maybe got behind the Weather Force 360. And then it refroze on the window. Maybe that's how I got this ice on the inside so just be careful if you're going to be leaving there for a few days it might melt and build up again again just like after i had snow on here now i have ice on here so my thought is what am i going to do with this because i'm home i'm getting ready to leave i'm going to put this in the garage to hopefully melt but i wouldn't want to put this in the back of my car if i was at work or somewhere else in this video we've been looking at the weather force 360 it's really an all weather windshield cover for your car, SUV, RV, whatnot. Um, even though I only tested this out during the winter months in this, because that's just the time that it released, um, I also think there would be a benefit during the summer. That being said, this is not something I would readily go out in the summer and put on my car. I have inside the car ones, which are up and down real easy. I probably would not use this for the summer. If this is something that interests you, I will leave a link down in the description. This is Jeff. With Jeff Reviews for you, as always, thanks for stopping by, and I hope you have a great day. So I've been using the Weather Force 360 now for a couple weeks, and I was waiting to post this video until I came up north and visited Buffalo, New York, because, you know, Buffalo is the snow capital of the world, except no snow. Very frustrating. So I will show you some of the um, things I've noticed. I've noticed in a big wind, this part just blows right up and sometimes pulls the magnet right here and therefore leaves your window uncovered. So that's a weak point. Plus down here where these magnets go, I've noticed, I don't know if you can see it, definite scratching on this side. And I also have scratching on this side. I don't know if you can see that, right where the magnets go. Um, I've noticed it up here on the arm as well that I've seen some scratch marks and such. I think they're all the kind of scratches that I could buff out, but it's definitely something that's worried me from the beginning. I just want you to see what it looks like with that wind. See how it just blows it up? You get a good strong gust of wind and that just pulls the magnet all together. I really appreciate that you stayed around for my entire review of the Weather Force 360. You know what? Earlier in this video, I referenced that I wouldn't really use this in the summer. Well, then I started thinking, actually, I would. And you know what? I would use it when I go camping because I would love the extra protection on the front of the RV so the heat doesn't come through. So you pull it to a site, you level yourself, you park, you throw this up on your window. Not only does it give you the heat protection, but there's also a privacy barrier right there. So I thought that was a good idea. Hey, you know what? Not that long ago, I actually did a, re a review of another 
product for your vehicle and it's called the Micro Mechanic. So what this does is you actually plug this into the OBD sensor and it can diagnose any car difficulties. Anyway, I'll let you watch the video. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna link that video right up here and I would love it if you would click on this link. And by the magic of the internet, when you click right here, I'm gonna join you at that review. So go ahead, click it, it's safe, I promise.